ఎంతమంది చచ్చిపోయారు స్వామి అస్ట్ హౌ మెనీ పీపుల్ డైట్ షాక్డ్ bhajan hall uh, which is just next to the interview room door okay we were sitting there and you know uh, when if you go early you get a chance to sit there and swami comes he will see you and when he goes inside for interview he will see you when he comes out from interview he will see you and there are chances of uh, some interaction so one afternoon in those days swami used to give darshan around uh, 3:30 3:45 like that i think it was vacation had gone and sat there and as swami called a group of devotees uh, he told them go inside and as they were going inside swami came inside the bhajan hall and looked at two of us who were sitting uh, one person's name is kannan and myself and swami asked hostel lo entha mandi unnaru how many people are there in the hostel we told the number some that time it was 450 or something entha mandi chachi poyaru swami asked how many people died they were shocked okay then this boy was sitting next to me he said swami when you are there for us how can we die he told it with such sincerity you know that swami who had started moving towards the interview room because everyone had gone inside came back and said bangaru it is not like that what i meant was how many people have lost body consciousness that's what i meant by how entha mandi chachi payar so we are both relieved and uh, everything proceeded as usual after that and uh, i think it was about a year later um this boy was involved in an accident there were a few boys who were coming from prati to prindavan the thing was the previous night swami had actually sent word to prati that nobody should come to prindavan okay and uh, these boys uh, they were the first batch of the resigns or something that time okay so these boys had finished exam earlier than the others Okay. they had finished that day and so they all shifted off to the mandir okay so the message didn't reach them so early morning they started on the way they had an accident okay and of course this news was carried to swami by one of the people occupants the this thing and uh, you know swami was having his food so he was just about to eat after the morning darshan when suddenly this person came and uh, that boy seeing that swami is about to eat he tried to back up swami had noticed by the time he called him called him what happened what happened then he said swami kannan is very serious he has had a very serious internal injury and all his organs are kind of mashed up so he just got up Okay, just push the plate. Come, come. Call for the car. Went straight to the hospital. That Sanjay Gandhi accident hospital. Created vibhuti. Gave it to this boy. And Swami returned. And to this day he is alive. What I am telling you is, see, Swami knows what is there ahead of us. So he creates a situation by which. um you can make a prayer to him and that sincerity he uses to save you later see 
This boy just said that, you know. Swami, when you are there for us, how can we die? Nobody would have thought there would be an accident like that and it would be such a serious accident and all that. And at that point when he needed, Swami physically went. Swami travelled all the way to city, gave him vibhuti and came back. And the doctor said that it's a miracle.